Boys on the 10, 800 metres. In station one, we have Jude from Geelong. Station two, Ben from Sandringham. Three, Tony from Brimbank. Four, Oliver from Keelor. Five, Ethan from Berwick. Six, Xander from Doncaster. Seven, Nate from Machikamoema. Eight, Caden from Geelong. Nine, Kai from Yarra Rangers. Ten, Nate from Berwick. Eleven, Kai from Diamond Valley. Twelve, Cooper from Caulfield. Thirteen, Reese from Williamstown. Fourteen, Jacob from Collingwood. 15, Andrew from Caulfield. And in station 16, we have Oscar from Berwick. They're your competitors in the fifth heat of the boys under 10, 800 metre event. So the other three still off to a nice steady start. We've got Reese from Williamstown out to a bit of a convincing lead at the moment as he comes around to the stagger. We've also got an athlete in the centre of the field. I think it might be Kai from Yarra Rangers there that is making his way forward. We do have a strong contingency from distance runners, middle distance runners from the Yarra Rangers centre. They do, do present, uh, represent very well. So out in front at the moment we see right, Reese from Williamstown. Kai from Yarra Rangers sitting comfortably in second position with Oliver from Keelor in third. So those three are going to take it around with 600 metres to go. There's a very athlete in tow there, which would be either be Nate or Oscar. We'll just wait till they come around to the front so we can actually establish which athlete it is. But at the moment, it's Reese from Williamstown in first position. Kai from Yarra Rangers in second. Third is Collingwood Jacob. And then we have two competitors. I think it might be Nate from Achikamawama sitting there on the shoulder of the Berwick athlete. We'll just get a better view on who the Berwick athlete is sitting there in four, fifth position. So it is Reese there from Williamstown, out there in front. A Yarra Rangers athlete holding on, working hard. So that's Kai just behind him as they do come up to about 200 metres to go. You can see, well, you just can't see it, but you can see the fog starting to descend upon Melbourne. The city skyline is not that beautiful blue that we normally expect on the first weekend of February. But nonetheless, the athletes have gone. Most of the rings moved away as Reese Kane from Williamstown does work his way into the front straight. We can see our cameraman giving a good shot of how far in front of the rest of the competitors he is. So a strong performance here. It's not easy running a distance event out on your own. Not too windy this afternoon, but a great run nonetheless and a gutsy effort. We can see him coming down the front straight for the last time. So it is Reese. And then it's Jacob here in second, our Collingwood athlete. Been a bit of a change there. Ben Montgomery from Sandringham looks to try and hold on to third. He does, just ahead of Ethan from Berwick there, who's going to round out our fourth competitors as the rest of the boys under 10 cross the line in the fifth of six heats. So if my calculations are correct... We have one more heat to go for the under 10s and then four heats in each the under 13 and boys and girls. So nine races to go for the day here on the first day of the 2020 State Combined Events Championships. In sixth place with a total of 831 points representing Doncaster. Well done to Lowe, Bill Gallia. In fifth place, with a total of 833 points, representing Ben 2, 